Navy presents your Blue Jackets on Parade at the United States Naval Training Center in San Diego, California, featuring the unique sounds of your Navy man in training. On his first day aboard the Naval Training Center, our new Blue Jacket hears the sound of reveille. Soon followed by a more welcome call. Ciao. After a nourishing breakfast, he snaps to respectful attention as the recruit drum and bugle corps plays morning color. Immediately afterward, he receives his first official welcome aboard. Good morning, men. Good morning, On behalf of the commanding officer recruit training command, I want to welcome you aboard. You are now men of the United States Navy. The tradition of the service demands your utmost effort. Give it cheerfully and willingly. For about a half an hour this morning, I'm going to be talking about different things that's going to happen to you during the next few weeks and the next few months you're here. Having a more thorough understanding of this, should make it more pleasant for all concerned. Basically, recruit training can be divided into four different phases. This is your forming phase, your primary training phase, your service week, and your advanced training. Your forming phase normally takes five working days. This is the time when you're getting ready for training. You receive your physical examinations, your dental x-rays and dental charting, You'll have your identification cards and tags made. You'll draw your wagons, indicates, your pieces. It's a busy nine weeks with many rapid changes. For a good example, let's stop by the barber shop. Okay, there you are. You finished already? That's right. Look in the mirror there and tell me how it looks. I, I don't know. I don't think my girl's going to like it. Isn't it just a little short, sir? Okay, next man. Yes, a little short, perhaps, but it'll grow back by graduation time. In fact, only a few days later, practice begins for our new man's graduation parade. He'll always remember that friendly cousin fellow, the drill master. Marching doesn't stop here, for our new Navy man joins his company in marching from this note-taking session to that demonstration. Good afternoon, men. Good afternoon, sir. Very good. It's so late in the afternoon. I'm Chaplain Lucent. This is our second of a series of character guidance lectures. This one will deal with the title, The Measure of a Man. I'm going to write a word up here on the board. How many of you know what the word crisis means? Good morning, men. My name is Miller, Commissary in first class. This morning you're going to have UCMJ-5. This is the duties of the shore patrol. I'm going to acquaint you with the duties and responsibilities of the shore patrol. best use of talented instructors with closed circuit television. Let's listen as the history instructor introduces a televised movie. See how these improvements 
shorten the war for us in the Pacific and how peacetime improvements saved many American lives during World War II. Here we have a documentary movie of the Pacific War, opening with Pearl Harbor on that fateful day of December 7th, 1941, when we learned the tragic mistake of not maintaining a stronger and more alert peacetime Navy. <laughs> Midway, Wake, Guam, the Philippines. From the crash of Without war to the banging of pots and pans, our new man discovers whose job it is to feed thousands of healthy men with healthy appetite as he takes his turn in the galley. Okay, sailor, you see this machine? It peels potatoes, about 2,500 pounds a day. One thing it doesn't do, it doesn't take the eyes out of them. So take this knife and get busy. Good chow means hard work for our blue jacket. However, in only one week, he'll swing right into advanced training, where he'll find his most riotous fun in sports, such as the boxing smoker and the whale boat race. I'm not much in the evening. Over in the blue corner, weighing 154 pounds from Company 139, hailing from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, William T. Schultz. And over in the gold corner, weighing 153 pounds from Company 141, hailing from Dallas, Texas, Stand by to give way together. Stroke! 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 Not only must each sailor learn to swim before graduating, he also learns water survival techniques. Now then. You want to stand at attention when you leave that ship. You jump in at a position of attention. Even if there's nothing in the water and you jump from about 80 foot and hit it for aid rest, friend, you got troubles. You use legs together or even cross them, sorry. Before you enter the water, point your toes straight down, just before you enter the water. So you don't hit the 